Hi everyone, I'm Ariel, and today we're going to be looking at a new type of video from Grimjack of the Schmuck Squad. This is Goblin Slayer is a Harem Show? To which I, I think since this is phrased as a question, everyone should probably rightfully respond. Well, duh. I mean, Goblin Slayer wouldn't realize it is, but everyone watching. Everyone watching. Including the participants should realize the guy got a harem. The one exception being him, because he's... Let's use the nicer, more YouTube-friendly term as... Dense as fuck. Yeah. So, I don't really know what Grimjack's going to do here. This is, at least according to him, a very brand new style of show. It's been out for about a week now, the time I'm recording this, and I really want to see what he did, because, I mean... He's Grimjack. He's part of the Schmuck Squad. I know him and everyone he works with have a very high reputation for quality when it comes to their videos. So I'm not worried about this being a good show. I just don't really know where he's going with this because, again, brand new type of media. So if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Make sure to hit it up because, I mean, if nothing else, it's Grimjack. It's the Schmuck Squad. You know this will be good. Just I'm not really sure how it'll be good yet, and I'm kind of curious to find out. And by kind of, I mean... I may or may not be super hyped on coffee right now because it was really late. And then I was like, oh, hey, you want to be really awesome? <laughs> Being awake enough to watch this because I want to do that now. Was it a smart move? No, no, it's really not. It's going to kick my ass in the morning. But I'm going to do it anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Again, link below to the original video. Hit it up. Also, if you're still watching at this point, link below to subscribe to my channel. Well, not really a link. It's more of a button. Press the button. You press the button. Great. Thank you for pressing the button. Yeah, I'm, as you can probably tell, very hyped on coffee. So much coffee. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Let's get started. Hey, everyone. It's your Grimmy boy, Mr. Grimjack. If Mr. If you're watching the stuff oh on my, my channel, you might know I'm a bit of a fan of Goblin Slayer. Ever since I first read the manga, I fell in love with this musty armor-wearing man. And I'm not the only one. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about the man himself. Honestly, I am the shock. Grimjack enjoys Goblin Slayer? Be still, I could not believe that happened. Oh my god. Goblin Slayer's anime first began in October 2018. And boy howdy did it start only... with the bang. Oh god, that's almost... That bloody spectacle feature that's almost three years. Lovable characters it's getting up there. Not quite yet, but... And growing down in guild halls. Sometimes in 3D! But alas, all good things, and also goblins, must come to an end. Right. And in December of the same year, we were left to wonder if there would be any more anime goblin slaying goodness. Sh oh. See, this is something I've only noticed, like, within the last couple of days. And I think this actually happened literally probably days, if not hours, after he made this video. They announced season two. After what will probably be three years when it comes out. Or very close to. Yeah. So that's the thing. Sure, there was the Goblin Slayer Rule Return message. And but he where? is. How? When? Tell me, White Fox! You tell me! You sons of- And in February of 2020, we got our answer. Oh. Goblin's crap. Ah, uh, he knew it. If you were one of oh. the lucky people in Germany, Mexico, or Japan, you'd get to see it in theaters. The rest of us had to use Crunchyroll. Like, Filthy paying customers. But why Mexico? Like Germany, I can get because major economy. But Mexico, really? Is is there a really big market for anime down there? I literally don't know because I don't know much of the anime community outside of okay, strictly weeaboos on the internet. But we're gonna ignore that fact. Yeah. Also, okay, I thought for a sec he was gonna like, yeah, we got our answer. Season two was announced. No, he's talking about the movie, which I guess they're going to just release at around the same time as the second season so who knows when but yeah no he apparently didn't know about that i i just want to go see if he's going to release a second video related to this like there was a second season and i was yay and just freaking out constantly because if there is i will watch that because it'll be hilarious I, I just enjoy people freaking out when they hear good news it's fun i like that i'm weird i know since then, there's been nothing. Goblin Slayer ticks all the boxes. Gratuitous violence, check. Yep. Controversial moments, check. Engaging characters, check. It had us hooked. We wanted Still more. better than redo of the we get more of the greatest harem anime of all time? Oh, did I not say? Yeah, it's a harem show. It's a harem Love show, the art. guys. You don't believe me? Well, listen here, you paying customers. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll show you. Goblin Slayer starts to look more like protagonist, Kunin. Okay. I just 
the bit he's doing with cutting out, graying the image, and then saying, bang, customer, to censor himself. I I always love censor jokes because they usually show just how ridiculous it is to the point where it usually is either going to make whatever's being censored worse or, in this case, gratuitously overdubbed to the point where you realize it's not what he meant to say. So you can just fill in the blank in your head of what it actually meant, which is always worse, and I love it. Because it just lets your mind sound so much dirtier than anything he could come up with. And it fits. And I kind of hope he keeps running with that joke because it's just really amusing to me. Volume 3 of the, the blush, light really. novel or chapter 32 of the manga. We see our boy, girl. the slayer of goblins, great, get asked great out by not one, but two girls. Move over, Rena girlfriend. Hello, Rena goblin slayer. <laughs> <The> <laughs> I mean, Friend, only $42.99. Order now and we'll throw in the tiger poster and no additional charge. Why a tiger First poster? on the list is the girl who gives Goblin Slayer his goblin killing fix. The lovable and oh so Guild girl. inquisitive Guild Girl. Woo! This girl right here, she needs a date. Her whole job is to approve and deny. And she is trying to get approved from Goblin Slayer Senpai himself. She's in the eyes of many adventurers in the guild. Not you. But she's not looking for just any adventure to fill that hole in her heart. Oh no. It has to be a venture with a I just want to give Grimjack a little credit here because when he said, we just need to find someone to fill that hole in her heart. He didn't pause after continuing on to say in her heart. Because um I uh might be confirming that my mind is a sewer, but um, I thought that would be the low-hanging joke he would go for. Kudos to you, Grimjack, for uh, being less of a dirty old man than I am. It's so hard to frame certain unmentionable things in ways that YouTube will approve of. Ooh, this is difficult. Heart of gold, <laughs> but is also stoic and mysterious. Her whole shtick is she loves stoic guys. You know, tall, dark, and quiet. What did I say? Out of here! <laughs> and we get Goblin Slayer. During the skip part, really we don't quiet, see the though. anime. Gil Girl finally oh. builds oh. up the courage to ask her man out on a date on the day of the Harvest Festival. Oh. And through a bit of negotiation, the date was set. All right, I'm here. So where's the goblins? No, remember our terms. The okay. I love this. They actually brought in the characters from the uh, bridge they're doing, from Schmuck Squad specifically. They're abridged, and they're just throwing them in. I, that's just nice. That's cool. This is a date. No goblins. But, but my name is Goblin Slayer. I slay dates? Now you're catching on. Good boy. <laughs> Kawaii blush. So their date was <laughs> as good as you would think. It was pretty average. Gil Wait, they can change clothes? Flirt, but... It didn't work out. So as a last ditch effort to get closer to Goblin Slayer, she takes him to a super secret place to win Goblin Slayer's heart. What? Oh, I know a real good romantic place. Goblin infested cave? No, silly. I mean, it would work for him. Work. What? Goblin Slayer obliges and follows her. They arrive at the guild's rooftop to watch Priestess perform. Guild girl attempts to put on the moves on Goblin Slayer, and then they hear a loud... Ooh. They head downstairs and find a mysterious Oop. foe. Gil Girl's love rival. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just what? an angry small adventurer who got demoted by Gil Girl. Guild Girl, you might not remember me, but ever since you Who demoted you? me, I look like I've a goblin. Had feelings for you. Not necessarily love feelings, maybe closer to murder feelings, but still, I think. <laughs> he does look like a goblin. Yeah. Oh, is he not a goblin? Ha! Ah! Called it. I ruined this guy's whole day. It's the ears. Psych! It was that angry Rhea scout pretending to be a dark Rhea. Turns out Gomslayer is a bit of a yandere. Who knew? Killing love rivals is a total power move. Gil Girl is scared at first, but secretly lusts for him more. Hell yeah. So yeah. Oh. Oh my. I. Da. Did I. Did I just imagine. Okay, there was the creepy Yandere image, yeah, which we kind of got there, but, uh, yeah, that one's thirsty. The tongue. Just just the tongue. More importantly, okay, yeah. 
Guild Girl has a thing for guys who commit murder of random strangers in front of her. I mean, yeah, he was going to try and kill her, but... Mm. Yay, murder! That makes me love you more. Oh, God, she's insane. To be fair, I, I think it's a requirement of this entire show to be slightly insane, so it probably fits... How is this the worst date ever? And yet, I think Goblin Slayer, as it's being portrayed, is coming out ahead. Oh, yeah, Harem. That's why. It always works out that way. Except for when it fails horribly. Hell yeah. So, yeah. How many takes did they do that? You wanted. Action, suspense, warning a second date, a little bit of murder. Check, check, Only a little. Check, and check. <laughs> Goblin Slayer is one for one. And then oh, no. there is Cowgirl. Goblin Slayer! Ah, my eyes too much cleavage! Cowgirl is the cliche childhood friend who has an unrequited love for Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer might only have killing goblins on his mind, but Cowgirl's mind only has one thing. I, um, I just realized my wife is in the other room. I might be in trouble. Oh, yeah, well... Honestly, at this point, we're so far gone, it can't make it any worse. Oh, God. Love you, dear. For that cringe, Cowgirl <laughs> just wanted to say hi, you see. Cowgirl thought Gomslayer died during a goblin attack on their old hometown village. Oh. That boy lived, and he became the legend we know today as... Goblin Slayer! Cowgirl oh, and Goblin Slayer's relationship almost feels that of the soldier's wife scenario. When Goblin Slayer at the start would always leave alone on Goblin Slaying quests and not return back home for what felt like days on end. Cowgirl tried to be strong, always waited for him to return. Always wanted to be the first person to greet him when he came back. Aww. But During the Harvest Festival, Cowgirl hears about Goblin Slayer's date with Cowgirl. Oh god, that face. You know, the one with a career, money, and assets to boot. So Calgary decided to Apparently get on she's that a action more, uh, and ask him out on a date during the festival developed too. Developed in the manga. Let me check my schedule. No, 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 no. Goblins, 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 gobbies. Oh, that's a different one. Table, uh, tables B day? Killing the goblins. And it, why does it say tables B day? What the hell? Whose birthday is November 8th? Murdering nasty goblins, destroying evil goblins, slaying, slaying filthy goblins, Christmas, yay! Why does it say November 1st is Christmas? Ah, I mean, he's kind of insane, who cares? Oh yeah, do good girl. I can fit you in for the morning. And I'll do the same. What's crazy what? to me personally is how Guild Girl is totally fine with this. Holy in Japanese Wait, classic literature. Am I right? Okay, so you have Goblin Slayer Monday to Thursday, and I have him for the weekend. Sold! So morning arrives, and Cowgirl comes prepared. She Okay. Damn, that dress. <whistles> also, I kind of get the feeling that he's... It isn't... Uh, maybe this is just me, but is anyone else looking at this going, wow, I've never wanted this before, but I kind of want a manga abridged now, based on watching this. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of really want that. I, I would like to see Grimjack and just everyone do it. Go up and freaking abridge a manga. Manga. However you say it, I know I'm saying it wrong regardless. Because I really like how they're approaching this. Also, I won't have to worry about lip flaps and just, yeah, this is kind of working. I, I want to see them actually go in and do all these episodes, not just him reviewing it. Because, yeah, I, I kind of want that now. I know it's not the point of the show. I know the point is to prove his point that it's a harem. But it's a very fun point to watch. If your wife wasn't in the other room and you realize it was a horrible idea to do while she was home and she might find out. And I'm going to put this online, so she's probably going to find out anyway. Fuck. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Is looking super cute in her Victorian secret outfit. Yep. Goblin Slayer is not slacking either. Victorian he with secret too. He was wearing his old ass vintage scraped up armor. I respect the filthy and unclean look. Gotta play it cool. Can't try too hard. Their oh, date God. was 
not too eventful. Gomsler wins her a ring. Cowgirl debates on which hand she wants to put it on. She thinks about oh putting my. it on the left, but chooses the right. She wanted to put it on her left hand to show that she's engaged to her goblin husbando, but she had to play it safe. Yeah. Her flavor is vanilla. Oh, God. Enter Priestess Vanaya. Is that her name? Von Iyer? Okay. That's not her name. Oh. It's just Priestess. Gobbleslayer and her are just Thought friends. we finally have That's a real it. name. Nothing more, nothing less. She obviously cares about him a lot. But her love for him is truly platonic. They meet in the beginning of the series. She's very inexperienced with a lot of life's challenges. It's possible she sees Gobbleslayer as a mentor. But yeah, just as a mentor. Also, talking about how she's so inexperienced. <sighs> It's probably not even necessary to point out at this point, because we all know, but she was the least experienced person in her party, and she was the only one who didn't fuck it up. Like, literally, every step of the way, everyone was there like, hey, let's swing around a sword wildly without any technique in a place that's too small. Or, hey, let's just run into a pile of goblins on my own. The martial arts uh, female fighter, honestly, yeah, she just got a rough rap on there. Everyone else fucked it up, though. I, I, I just... Mm, dumbasses. She was the least experienced person, and she's the only person who didn't fuck it up. Also, yeah, mentor my ass. But we're closing this door. Because oh? Because nothing is going on here. Also, she's 15. Oh. So Wait, chill. Really? 15? What the fuck? And then Seriously? we have some oh. maiden. The mysterious yet beautiful and strong? We haven't seen much of her strength. She claims she killed the old demon lord with her party. I don't know, man. She could have just been lying. They might have just carried her, to be honest. The dwarf shaman has shown much I mean, strength. Um... Her. her current hobbies are serving the supreme god and being painfully thick. She has Gotta love the art. Her too. In chapter 32 of the manga, Sword Maiden is upset she couldn't <laughs> attend the festival. So she writes Goblin Slayer a letter. What? Dear Goblin Slayer, Can he read? I hope this letter finds you well, and not in a stinky, rancid goblin cave. Well, no look at that. Nonetheless, I can't stop thinking about you. Which is weird, because you're the most repugnant man I've ever met. I will pray to the Supreme God for your good fortune. Sincerely, Sword Maiden. P.S. So I just heard you're going on two dates at the Harvest Festival, and neither of them are with me? What well, you can say he's repugnant. And lastly, <laughs> we have the best wife. Hi, what? Elf Archer. Okay, Archer is a quasi Cinderay for Goblin Slayer. Quasi? I thought encounter. it was full on. She seems originally put off by Goblin Slayer. She doesn't like his me meg megalo me mega me what? megaloboxy megalomaniacal killing for goblins. <sighs> oh, Goblin Hard on, got it. There is a moment with High Elf Archer where she sees Cowgirl and Gomster having fun at the festival. However, the moment is different in the light novel compared to the manga. Oh? In the light novel, she seems bothered by Cowgirl and Gomster being together. Archer slams the table and says, I can't stand it! In the manga, The Bachelor is back. Stream it live on ABC with YouTube TV. Cuts them by slamming the table and says, Jelly? I can't stand it! And points at the duo. But as usual, it was all just a misdirection because she, the best archer in these lands, was pissed about losing a throwing game that Gomslayer easily beat. Archer is usually bad really? whenever there's some type of misunderstanding. In chapter 20 of the manga, Archer sees Gobbleslayer at the Watertown Guild Hall. She gets excited and sits right next to him, puts herself right up in his arms, and they decide to. Oh my god! Hold hands! Sound the I'm not pausing because they censored the hand, although that is kind of funny to me. Or that this does mean she technically is the person who got the farthest with Goblin Slayer. No, I'm just looking at this part right here. These, uh, white streamers. Yeah. Definitely, um... Bits of milk and fireworks and nothing else. 
Oh, actually, they are fireworks. Sound the alarm! Oh, thank God, I've seen so many white little blurs lately. People have it again. Just kidding. <laughs> that only shows in the manga. But even if one medium of the series gives us one different perspective oh. compared to another, we can all just hope and dream. Am I right? But it Honestly, I still technically prefer Guild Girl or Cowgirl, just for reasons. That said, it's kind of cool how he's pointing out how they're taking two different tacks there. On one, when she sees them, she's jealous in the light novel, but it's a humorous misunderstanding in the um, manga. But then later on, when she sees him there, in the manga, she's actually, you know, doing something proactive by holding his hand, where that apparently didn't happen in the light novel. So it's like, oh, kind of switching it around there, where one is showing action, where the other one is showing intent. Yeah, that's just, yeah. Cool to show that, actually, and I'm really glad Grimjack did, because it does show that the various aspects of the show do not match up. They might have similar events, but their interpretations can be drastically different, which is actually really cool, because then you can apply that to if the anime ever does the Harvest Festival, which I kind of hope they do, because cute girls in dresses is always, um, uh, um <clears throat> yeah, uh, I would approve of more cowgirl art, just going to throw that out there. <clears throat> yeah. And girl girl as well, because, ye. Also, I realize talking about cute girls in dresses while looking at a bloody priestess is a little bit weird. Yeah, I, I really wish I had paused somewhere else. Yeah, it's kind of cool just to show that they don't match up perfectly, so a lot of context could alter whenever they do get to this part in the anime, and I hope to God they don't skip it. But at the end of the day, Gum Slayer is a very dark story that has multiple engaging elements. Yeah. Besides the action, there's more cute ladies than Gum Slayer can shake a stick at. And he's a and real like good at stick You don't want everyone to die. Like the witch, and the fencer, and guts? What? <laughs> Who the fuck wrote that? However, I'm not going to include well, those, guts? since they don't have any meaningful interaction on screen. Oh. For now. Wink, wink. Just know, oh, God. Gom Slayer in the harem section, you'll know why. Grimjack was there, got it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Please clap. So overall, if this is going to be how Grimjack and a lot of the Schmuck Squad go forward to just talk about what they think is going to happen in different shows and make certain points about their basic outlook on it, I'm okay with this. I like it, and I would definitely love to watch more because, one, yeah, he's making really good points. We get to see little bits of content that haven't made it into the anime yet. And more importantly, we get to see it voiced and acted out little skits in there, which I think personally takes us from a really cool little review to... I love this, and I would love nothing more if they just said, you know what, screw the anime, we're going to abridge the manga, get the scans, go in there, have fun with it, and just go wild on that. And I would honestly love it, I would watch it, and I would, in a heartbeat, recommend, because that was actually really fun. Because how many people haven't wanted to see the manga go in there, find a great one, and they can read it, and oh my god, I want to see if they can abridge Komi. Boy. Okay, I'm not even going to joke about this. If there is any way, shape, or form to bribe and or bribe and maybe possibly bribe all of the Schmuck Squad, Grimjack, anyone involved, Pyro, I don't know, I don't care, anyone into trying to do a comic abridge of Komi-san. Yes. In a heartbeat, yes. I never even thought of that because it, you don't usually see a bridging outside of, okay, one, usually anime, and a few times an attempt at Cory in the house and also the Harry Potter movies, which were actually really well done, but god damn, the lip flaps were probably a bitch that is on that. Yeah. So I never actually thought of doing a manga abridged, manga, whatever. I, I just, I want to, I want to. To bribe them. I, I would say hire, but bribe is probably more accurate. To just try and do maybe just a one-shot Komi manga abridged. Because if it would be half as good as just the little segments Grimjack threw into this. Oh, God. Those were amazing. I loved it. The voices were good. It had the scrolling aspects. It had inserts. It, it was great. And I would love to see that technique put to something that is in no way ever going to get an anime anytime soon. Because it's apparently the meme. Is that completely unrelated to everything he just did? No, actually, I think it's a very good thing because he demonstrated a really good usage of style that would translate really well into an alternative medium of something that may or may not be getting a hard shake. So I would love to see that. Am I a bit obsessive right now? 
Oh, yeah, definitely. I regret nothing, but I am. I'm not going to deny that's not the case. Yeah, <laughs> can English. As for the video itself, I liked the context added, specifically at the end, showing how things were different between the manga, manga, I do not know which one is correct. I think it's manga. Could be wrong. And the light novel. I like seeing the context difference there, how they treated differently. And they were very similar, but also one was more jokish, one was more serious. But then the jokish one later on showed intent to actually hold his hand, which could also be taken as just a friendship, but also that she's literally the person now in any media, as far as I can see, who's got the furthest with him. Short of him being revived and they needed to be naked because that technically was him not really alive at the time. So, yeah, we're going to ignore that. Yeah. Good, good images there. <laughs> yep. Definitely things I'm not, not uh, ashamed to mention to my wife in case she's l listening in. Love you, dear. So overall, if you like this, there's a link below to the original video. Go down there, click on the link to the video. Don't forget just to leave a like, subscribe like usual. But also, just ask if he could do a Comey abridged using the style. Maybe that Arier's willing to bribe him. And he, he's not not in any way, shape, or form a, a little upset to beg for it. Because, honestly, that would be freaking amazing. I, I'm, not a, I'm not above bribing them for this. And by bribing, I mean maybe a donation goal to see if that would incentivize him to do it. Would it? I don't know. But it'd be really cool if they did, because yeah, Grimjack definitely showed his takes on inserting those aspects really worked well. They were fun to watch, and they were really moving, which is weird, considering it's not an animated version. It's just a st static image. But just between the voices and scrolling aspects and just the different things they could insert, it worked well, and I would love to see more of it. So yeah, if you haven't, again, link below. Hit it up. And tell them early they're sent you. You don't have to write in a Russian accent. But if you can write it in a Russian accent, that'd be pretty awesome. Oh, also, subscribe. Somewhere. I don't know where they put the button anymore. I'm assuming wherever I'm pressing it's wrong, so it's probably over there up until they moved it down there again. Those monsters. As you can tell, I'm very hyped on coffee right now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.